today is an exciting day. I come to you with a brand new book tag. And that book tag is all about my not so guilty pleasure, and that is reality TV, specifically The Real Housewives. Because let's be real here, those shows are epic and hilarious and addicting to watch. So today I am here with the original Real Housewives book tag. Hello everyone, it is Samantha, and I hope you guys are having a great one, and hopefully it'll get better for you, because I am so excited about today's video. It is the Real Housewives book tag, because this needed to be a thing. It really, really did, and it is, I, I will admit, reality TV is my not-so-guilty pleasure. I will not feel guilty about watching reality TV. I find it incredibly entertaining, and at 99% of the time makes me feel better about myself shamelessly and I just find the Real Housewives shows to be so entertaining and incredibly addicting so a special shout out and thank you to Jenny from Adultist Books and Liz from Liz Loves Literature who are also addicted to the Real Housewives and they helped me come up with some of these questions so thank you guys and they will also be tagged in this to do this because it's an epic tag and it needs to be done so thank you guys for helping me come up with these questions you guys are fantastic but without further ado let us get started on this tag Question number one is the Real Housewives of Orange County, aka the original Real Housewives with Vicky, who's seriously like one of the only ones left on that show from when it very first started. She's a diehard, that Vicky. And this question, you have to choose a book that you liked before anyone else. So basically it's a hipster question. Yeah. For me, that book is always The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I read this book when it first came out back in 2007. Needless to say, I've been waiting a very long time for this series to finish. Hopefully this year, though it looks like it won't happen, but I will hold out hope. So this is definitely my hipster book. I even have this cover, which I recently found out is really rare, and I had no idea. It's my favorite cover. I mean, look, he looks so epic. Quoof, looks so epic on the cover. So this is my hipster book. That's right. Question number two is the fake cancer scandal. If you watch Real Housewives, you will know that this was Brooks, who was Vicky's boyfriend, and it turns out that he claimed he had cancer when in fact he might not actually have cancer. It was quite the scuttlebutt last year, and probably one of the more entertaining story arcs of the Real Housewives series. I mean, it's pretty epic. Dude, you don't fake cancer. Like, who does that? Still some controversy though as to whether or not he actually had cancer. Pretty much everybody is saying no, that he's still holding to his gun saying he did, so who knows, but needless to say it was a pretty, pretty epic plot point. So for this one, you just have to choose a book with a plot twist. It can either be a good plot twist or a bad plot twist, I'll leave that up to you. For me, I'm giving it to The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. I do not want to say what the plot twist is, because for those of you who have not read it, it'll completely spoil you, and it is a big spoiler, because it is a really big plot twist. But it was basically one of those, when I read it, it was like, <sighs> what? That was my reaction internally. I don't think I actually said that out loud. So definitely a very big plot twist. Probably one of my favorite plot twists from any book ever. Like it was, for me, it was pretty intense. There's some mixed reviews on that, this plot twist. But for me, I thought it was a pretty ingenious, creative, clever, like what is happening kind of a moment. Question number three is The Real Housewives of DC. For this one, you need to choose a boring book because it sucked so bad they only give it one season. For this, it's not necessarily a book. It is a play but I'm going with it anyway. And that is Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. This is my least favorite of William Shakespeare's plays. I know it's highly praised. It's been made into tons of movies. Blah, yes. I personally find it to be boring and it is my least favorite of his plays. In case you're wondering, my favorite is actually Hamlet. My second favorite is Macbeth. But Romeo and Juliet I found to be kind of boring. Of course, me as many other people in high school had to read it and that was a very, very hard section of the class because I was so not into it. So I don't know, I don't know, my opinion might have changed. I might give it another go because that was 14 years ago, so yeah. But right now it will remain as one of my more boring books slash plays. Question number four is the table flip. This, of course, is the infamous Teresa Judice table flip from Jersey Housewives. For this one, you need to choose either a book or a character that you hated so much it made you feel like you wanted to flip a table. I thought I've been mentioning this one a lot recently, but it's Wuthering Heights. I think it's because it stuck out my memory as one of the books I've hated the most in recent 
years and I really really did not like this. This book and all of these characters made me want to flip a table. I hated all of them. I just did not like any of these characters. I could not get into them. They were horrible people and they made me feel very very angry and upset. So I definitely would say if they were if I was present in a room with them I probably would have flipped a table and raged. That was how upset they made me. Question number five is cat fights because there's at least ten of these every season. It doesn't matter which housewife it is. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of fighting. It's a lot of yelling in the Real Housewives show. For this one, you need to choose the best fight between two characters. I am choosing the fight between Inigo Montoya and Wesley, the sword fight on the Cliffs of Insanity. Really like that scene. It's humorous because they're both kind of smart assy and they're kind of harassing each other and they both are really, really good at sword play. So it's a really entertaining scene. Love it so much. Look, my edition even has a picture of them fighting. Isn't that cool? Next is The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. For this one, you need to choose the most expensive book that you have ever read. So let's be real here. The Beverly Hills housewives are pretty glamorous and they're all pretty rich. I mean, Lisa Vanderpump has, has literally looks like a glass house with swans. She has swans and she bought a goddamn pony this last season for her backyard. I mean, who does that? Who buys a pony for their backyard for their husband's birthday and has swans? That, that's intense. This is definitely going to Doctor Who The Vault. I bought this a couple of years ago during the 50th anniversary year when this came out. It was to celebrate the 50 years of Doctor Who. It was 30 bucks because it's basically this big coffee table book and I did read the whole thing because it was fascinating. It has like the entire history of the show with never before seen behind the scenes footage and excerpts and photos and cast notes and things like that and it goes through the entire history of the show so when it premiered in 63 all the way up to new who so it was expensive but it was worth every damn penny and it was an epic and fun read so if you're a doctor who fan i recommend checking this out i think it's actually cheaper now on amazon it's gone down in price so more affordable to pick up but this ticks the cake for being the most expensive question number eight is the exotic trip because without fail every season of The Real Housewives, doesn't matter which one, and they have to go to an exotic location. And so for this question, you need to choose a book that has an exotic locale. It can be a fantasy world that has an intriguing setting, or it could just be a regular contemporary novel that takes place in an exotic location. I am choosing The Dragon Prince by Melanie Ron. The good chunk of this book takes place in the deserts and the dragon lands. It takes place in this kind of almost Egyptian sounding place that has dragons in it and there's lots of sand and dragons and oasises, oases. What is the plural of oasis? It's not like I go around saying oasis a lot. Anyway, it seems very exotic and it seems really pretty like there's these gardens at the castle. So there's like this big garden in the midst of this desert that kind of reminds me of the hanging gardens of Babylon. And it was just, you know, kind of sounded very intriguing and warm and hot and also kind of pretty. So pretty exotic, I would think. It's more exotic than my rainy Oregon weather. Question number nine is the product line because without fail at least one of the housewives comes out with a product line and you never see this product in the stores but supposedly it exists. Allegedly. So for this one you have to choose your favorite book edition. So an edition of a book or a series of books that you really really like. So it can be classics, it can be like the UK editions of these books that you like versus the US editions. Just a type of edition that you enjoy. I'm going with the Word Cloud Classics by Canterbury. I love these. They are gorgeous. They are these flexi bound editions and they have the words engraved on the cover and the words are excerpts from the book. So I have Little Woman, The Three Musketeers, Persuasion, and Emma. And I also have Frankenstein, but it's buried under a bunch of other books and I'm too lazy to get it out. These editions are definitely one of my favorite classics editions and I kinda wanna collect them all even though I really don't have room. So we'll see how that goes. The next question is The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And for this one, you need to choose a book that you were tardy for, which is from Kim, one of the ex-housewives who thought she could sing and record the song, Don't Be Tardy for the Party worst song ever. For this I am actually choosing Fangirl which I do not have anymore but I read it last year and I felt like I was literally the last person to ever read this book and I actually enjoyed it. I ended up rating it 4 out of 5 stars. It was a lot better than I was expecting so I'm definitely going with this one. I felt like the last person to ever read this book but it ended up being pretty good so I'm glad I read it. And the last question is the spinoff and these are the spinoff shows from the Real Housewives franchise like Vanderpump Rules, 
Candy's various wedding ep little shows, like she had the wedding and a vacation one, Kim's Don't Be Tardy. So there's been various spinoffs. And so for this one, you need to choose a sequel to a book that you either liked or that you didn't like. It's up to you which one you want to choose. For me, I'm going to choose one that I liked more than the first book, and I'm choosing Clariel by Garth Nix. I really like Clariel. I thought it was a lot better than Sabriel. I like the characters more, except for Sam. Sam was an annoying character, which is sad because we share the same name. Oh well. But the book itself I thought was a lot better. I like Clariel. I liked Ma, the dog character. I can't remember the dog's name right now. I read it a year ago. But I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was even better than Sabriel. And I still need to read Up Horse and I need to finish this trilogy out this year. All right, guys, that is it for the Real Housewives book tag. I hope that you guys found it entertaining. I was trying to have fun with this one because it's just one of my favorite shows to watch. And I just kind of wanted to make a book tag for it. So hopefully you guys thought it was fun. I'm going to be tagging some people. I'm going to be tagging Liz from Liz Loves Literature and Jenny from Adultish Books. Thank you guys again for helping me come up with these questions. I'll also be tagging Jen from Jen's Library and anybody else who loves the Real Housewives television show because I'm not sure who else likes it. I know you three do, but I'm not sure about everybody else. So if you love The Real Housewife Show and you find it just as addicting and entertaining, then please, please, by all means, do this tag because I'd love to see it. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.